it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi, everybody. Hi. So today we're going to read you the story called The Monster. I don't know if you've ever heard this story before, but it's pretty awesome. It's about this boy right here. And he is going to the Mont store to buy a monster because that's what you do at the Mont store. You buy a monster. So let's see what happens in our book, The Mont store. Mm -hmm. This is written by Tara Laser, and the illustrations are by James Burks. The Mont store. At the back of Frank and Sweet's candy shop, under the last box of sour gumballs, there's a trap door. Ooh, that sounds fun. Knock five times fast, hand over a bag of squirmy worms, and you can crawl inside the monster. The monster sells only the most useful monsters, just right for doing tricky things around the house. So you can see they're having a sale and they have half off of some of the monsters. Pretty good looking store. The kind that love crab leg casserole. Mm -hmm. The kind that glow in the dark. And the kind that frighten pesky little sisters away. Except Manfred the monster. Oh, he was supposed to stop Gracie from snooping around in Zach's room. See, Zach even has a sign that says keep out with a picture of his sister shows the monster what to do. Instead, Manfred showed Gracie his favorite hiding place. Rawr! Hmm. And then they scared Zack. Zack wanted a refund. So he took Manfred back to the monster. I want a refund. The shop owner says, sorry, no returns, no exchanges. And the boy says, but Manfred doesn't work. That's Zack. He says, Manfred doesn't work because he's not scaring the little sister away like he's supposed to. Well, add another. Monsters make bigger scares in pairs, said the shop owner. So Zach bought, brought Mookie home. Mookie, he was supposed to stay up into the wee hours and keep Gracie from sleepwalking into Zach's bedroom. Do you think it worked? What about you, Penny? Do you think it worked? You don't know? Hmm, she doesn't know. Guess let's see. Instead, Manfred and Mookie taught Gracie a new way to wake him up. Zach had the right to a refund. So he took them both back to the store. Sorry, no returns, no exchanges. But Manfred and Mookie are broken, Zach said. Add another. A monster threesome is more gruesome than a twosome said the pet owner, or the store owner. So Zach brought Mojo home. He was supposed to set booby traps around Zach's bedroom, capture Gracie, and haul her away. No more sneaky sister snooping, sleepwalking, or snatching his stuff. Do you guys think it worked? Thumbs up if you think it worked. Hmm, let's see, what, what do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down, yeah, me too. I don't think it worked either. Oh, we were right. Instead, Manfred, Mookie, and Mojo threw Gracie a monstrous birthday bash right there in Zach's bedroom. And that was it. Zach begged, whined, grumbled, and collapsed onto the cash register. But the monster manager just pointed to the sign. No returns, no exchanges, no exceptions. I deserve a complete and total refund, Zach said. So Zach kept buying and trying and buying. Pretty soon, Zach had collected so many monsters, he had to pack up and move to the basement. In the middle of the night, the splintery stairs made a creepy creak. Uh, who's there? Zach said. It was Gracie. Will you sleep in my room? There's something scary up there, Gracie said. Finally, the monsters were working. Zach sprinted up the stairs two at a time to see what monsterly mischief and had spooked his little sister. Eek, over there, said Gracie. 
That's what you are afraid of, Zach said, pointing to this crown, it looks like. Yes, it's all sharp and prickly, and it's so shiny and bright. It's hurting our eyes. Get it out of here, please, Gracie said. Zach was tempted to leave that glitzy, glittery thing right there, but Gracie was right. It was pretty hideous. That monstrosity had more spikes than a crab leg casserole. Slowly and carefully, Zach hit rid the room of the tiara terror. You're the best big brother ever, said Gracie, and she gave him a hug. After that, Gracie and the monsters cleaned up the party decorations fiendish, fiendishly fast. And then Gracie and the monsters marched out of Zach's room. Finally, the bedroom belonged to Zach again. And the monsters belonged to Gracie. All of them, every single one, an entire mob of monsters. Hmm, she went to the monster. No returns, no exchanges, no exceptions. When Gracie got home, she smushed the monsters back inside. Uh, what are we going to do? Zach said. Gracie smiled. She had a monster of an idea. So now, at the back of their crooked old bike shed, under a box of rusty roller skates, there's a trap door. Knock five times, fast. Hand over a bag of squirmy worms and you can crawl inside. The monster, too. Just remember, no returns and no exchanges. We hope you liked our book and you get to find a monster around your house if you want to buy one. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.